Hello, Internet! Uh, we're playing Frog Fractions, which is apparently revolutionary and the absolute best way to teach your child about fractions. Thanks, Annabelle Santorum, EIC Dietetics UK, Jan January 08. All right, I'm ready. Uh, I've, I've not done this before. You've, Are we gonna... You're prepping your body and mind. I'm, I'm ready. I'm so ready. All right, let's learn about fractions. And here we go. Wave one. Womp, 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 womp. Oh, man. Womp. I imagine if you had played this on your old computer, it would have been much slower. I know, this is fantastically fast. I can't imagine that this would ever take four fucking hours to do. <laughs> yeah, I know. Seriously, what's up, right. guys? Durian's too expensive. Lock on targeting. Woo! Wave one. Oh man, two sevenths, five sevenths, so many sevenths. Oh shit, we got so many sevenths. Hey, got shit. sevenths coming out the yin yang. Oh, we paused accidentally. Hey, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Oh man. Eat shit, bugs. Eat shit. I bet those bugs eat shit. I bet those bugs do eat shit. They really do. I'm, I'm not insulting them in any way, shape, and form. I'm glad you're respective of their culture. Wow, wow, wow. Static cling. We oh, damn it, I keep pausing. I stop clicking outside the screen, son. I'm trying not to. This ain't no this ain't no shoot 'em up. This ain't no time crisis. Oh man, time crisis was the best. I beat time crisis. You know and then so you know in the newest time crisis when you push down the pedal it gives you bullet time and you can shoot bullets out of the air. That's awesome. Too expensive. Cybernetic brain. Yeah. yeah, yeah. 1.32 E2. Oh god. Why is it wave one again? I don't know. Wave Finnegan. Wave Seamus. Seamus Finnegan. Seamus Finnegan. Shame on you, Finnegan. Shame on you indeed. You didn't learn fractions. Oh shit, I forgot about the teeth. Hone. She oh, doesn't have got a new keyboard. Tenth. Then. Toe. Net. None. Haunted doghouse. Damn it. Note. Hoot. No. Also, I like that the keyboard that shows up on there is a is a Dvorak keyboard. I know it's utterly unhelpful. <laughs> And it tells you to put three fingers on each part. <laughs> oh shit, we're not typing anymore. Nope. Nope, eat a dick. Suck my tongue. Oh, that was a huge bunch. Oh man. Suck my tongue, bitches. Bitches don't even know about my tongue. I wish they did. <laughs> Turtle friend. Turtle friend. Swimming right around in a pile, a pile of turtle friend. And on my turtle friend. Things are great with my turtle friend. I love being on the back of my turtle friend. That's a hit song right there. That shit will go I far. I think Nickelback already did that song. Oh, fuck. Look at this photograph. Every time I ride a turtle's back. <laughs> how did my eyes get so red? Seriously, it's like I'm smoking crack. Seriously, it's like I'm giving head. <laughs> you know, my favorite True. version of that is uh, so somebody plays that photo, and then there's a, a guy holding up a photo of a man dancing in his underwear. <laughs> dragon friend! Oh, the dragon friend! Do, 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 do. Eat bugs, eat bugs. Ah. God. I f oh god. Eat the flies in the sky. I can fly twice as high. Eat a Man, bug. I sure am Don't really have... eating a lot of fruit. I wonder if there's a way to acquire more fruit? I don't even know. Man. Man. God. I wonder. Super... Oh. Ah, oh god. Ah. That's a. Ah. Sunset. Sunstone. Honest. Honest! Ashen. You're not honest enough. 
Nosh. It's not even a word. Nuns. Teens. Nun teens. Stunt. Nuns. Unseat. Fall to ABC. State. No, state. Seethe. Teen nuns coming this fall to ABC. Oh shit, I'm going. What the fuck? Oh, oh my god. god, I like how they're all durians now. Yeah, all durians because I upgraded them. Oh my god. So much fruits. A billion. Just gonna keep getting it. It's gonna be next and three minutes. Going up. We're going up. Moving on up. Oh god, that hurt. Ah. Go up, dragon Dignity friend, increase. go up. My indignity is way too high. Indignity is too damn high. Oh, dignity flies is are eating too your durians. Damn, oh god, your indignity. Oh god, my indignity, no! It'd really suck if you lost right here. Yeah, it would. Warp drive? What the? Oh shit, we're going to space. We're going straight to space. Let's go to space! Thanks, Edison. Oh, I'm Lieutenant Hop now. I see. You got that. He, you you got that uh, junior officer designation much quicker. I got that promotion. Nope. Why are there so many asteroids just above the lake? Oh God! Why are we suddenly in a nebula? What is this? Where is What's Frog Planet? I don't understand. Frog Planet, you make no sense. Oh, thanks, birthday cake. Bug Mars? They're gonna regret messing with us. Do a barrel roll! Alright, if you say so. Yeah. Look, I'm an Ouroboros! You know, the thing that was called a barrel roll in Star Fox is actually not yeah, a barrel not. roll at all. Yeah, no, it's an aileron roll. Barrel roll is an actual move that gets somebody off your tail. An aileron roll is when you roll your plane. Yes, it look yes, a barrel roll looks like you're actually flying your plane around the inside of a barrel. Yep. Good flying with you, Teddy Hop. See you on the other side. Man, I bet if we played this on your old computer, it would have taken 30 minutes by now. I'm sure it would have. Oh god. Attitude for gains! So I don't know what this it's, music is. It's great. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, I'm under arrest. No, dragon friend. Wait, what? What? Now you're in bug court. Mr. Hop, the charges against you are severe. You're accused of breaking and entering into our native habitat, Bug Mars, with intent to purloin our delicious space fruit. How do you plead? Has anyone ever told you you look delicious? <laughs> Not with that glassy-eyed stare, no. Those charges carry a minimum sentence of 20 years hard labor. There's a special offer this week. How'd you like to become a naturalized citizen of Bug Mars? How do you feel about bribes? You'll just reach into my front pocket. You don't have a front pocket. I can see from here you aren't wearing pants. Here, all you need to do is pass a test on the history and culture of this fine planet. Shall we begin? Our bug flag has four bug stripes. What do they represent? Periostalsis, Synecdoche, Bugs, crushing our enemies in our powerful mandibles, protecting my precious space fruit from you goddamn commie space bugs, your honor, and yeah, hate bugs, hate bugs. That's, um, actually correct. Next question, on the bug series Jer Bug Jersey Shore, what is Bug Snooky's favorite, vanilla favor favorite flavor of ice cream? Trick question. Ice cream is unheard of on Bug Mars because of the climate. Well, I had to try, didn't I? Four score and twenty bugs ago, Bug in Chief Bug Thomas Jefferson wrote in the Declaration of Bugs that we are blessed with which inalien right? <laughs> 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 
the right to refuse to testify against your hive mind in court. <laughs> Involuntary chirping notwith notwithstanding, yes. During the War of Bug 1812... <laughs> Is that a bug war of 1812? No, bug 1812, Sam. Bug the year of our bug, 1812. Of course. General Stonewall Bug Jackson held off the nefarious frog armada single-handedly. How many mecha frogs did he crush under the wheels of his Mercedes bugs? We don't know they had an inventing counting back then. None. He didn't learn to drive stick until after his divorce. And what a nasty breakup it was. All over the tabloids for months. Last question, Mr. Hop. How do you feel about fractions? I don't... <laughs> actually leaning slightly towards scientific notation these days. I think my chair is made of bugs. Am I made of bugs? <laughs> I think you're a huge Philistine and hope you die, but that is correct. I'm impressed, Mr. Hop. Yours is the first perfect score our fake naturalization program has ever seen. We were going to fire you into the sun, but instead we've decided to issue a work visa. If you'll just sign here... YOLO! <laughs> Bartholomew Salience, Ch chitin donor, 1945, Bug Street, Insectopolis. Alright, we're signing. For novelty signing. purposes only. Yep. We're making a dick. What is wrong with that penis? It's a... <laughs> Look, sometimes... Sometimes you just have to go where no man has boldly gone before. This is the worst rocket ship. Got a, it's got a thought bubble. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Fine art. <laughs> I am impressed how legibly you're writing penis. <laughs> oh god. We're going up! Wave Mars! We're going up! We can't go up. What do we do? What do we do? I don't know. There's only the blood sea below us. Oh god. And they say there's and no water on Mars. Wow, it's so quickly moving through here. It's like it's actually operating at the speed it's supposed to. Conceived in 1632 by Portuguese yeah. printing press operator Andre Felipe, boxing was a gentleman's game in which two men would square off and regale each other with stories monotonous for days on end until one of them fell to the ground from boredom or exhaustion. Over the next few years, the new sport developed a respectable following of a few hundred local socialites. I just noticed that there's a twin beard hotline above the game. I wonder if we should call it. I didn't actually even know that. I'll call it after we're done. Yeah. Nom 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 nom. Let's go left. It was Felipe's son, Andre Felipe Felipe, who developed what he called the punching strategy in 1637 after seeing a schoolboy strike another in anger, causing him to fall down. When Andre Felipe Felipe challenged the then champion, British expatriate sleepless Bill Bishop to a match, Bishop was the odds-on favourite. You can imagine his surprise when, while he was describing what he had had for breakfast that morning, Andre walked up and thumped him in the neck, sending him down for the count in the parlance of our time. While it was universally agreed as you can see Octocat in the background sometimes. Yeah. Officials were unable to I think that's Octocat rule that punching violated and were forced to let the victory stand. This upset caused an uproar in the boxing community large enough to spill over into local newspapers which drew the interest of many Damn outsiders it. to come see what all the stuck. fuss was about. The newcomers were enthralled to engage in these borderline barbaric displays of human strength and skill. And the rest is history. After a few sport sport school moms single-minded about safety added the padded gloves, of course. Damn it. 
You know, I ended up reading up on bare knuckle boxing once. I discovered yeah. there is a version. Uh, there's an actual legitimate version of Punch Face. It's nice. It's called the. Uh, it's called the Irish Standoff. <laughs> How does one portray this Irish Standoff? It's conduct one, I suppose. Uh, the, you just stand in the same place and you just you just punch each other. You don't defend. You don't move. You just punch each other until one person goes down. Today's boxing enthusiasts fantasize about a newcomer that would rock the ring the way Felipe did. The calcification of the modern rule set has essentially locked the punching strategy into place, but it's easy to get caught up in the fantasy. Young scholars with big dreams often enter the ring with their crazy new trick, usually a variant of hypnosis. And though they've achieved the occasional victory, none of the gimmicks have been robust enough to make it to the big time. Can't go under it, too high. Can't go over it. Ad block popping up on the page. The real wonder, though, is that Andre Felipe's original vision of boxing is still around. Gentlemen's boxing clubs can be found in cities all over the world. You can visit one most any day of the week and see two erudite gentlemen exchanging pleasantries in the ring. Most people only come to watch a few hours of a match, and then leave. But every once in a while you'll find amongst your elders a stout fellow, a die-hard fan, who perhaps witnessed that historic battle between Felipe and Bishop, who for love of the sport must stay to witness the last glorious seconds of wakefulness slip away, only to return to fight again another day. Oh my god, it's a rocket ship! We're blasting off! Oh man. Fuck your shit, Mars! Woo! Command module. Is that it? The rumbling seems to have stopped, and you feel the intense downward pressure let up. After a moment, you calm down enough to start taking in your surroundings for the first time since the seemingly dormant vessel sprang to life. Command module. The walls of this circular room curve to meet at a point that must correspond to the curved nose of the outer hull. Lining the walls, you see a porthole, a glowing display, and a control deck. A ladder leads aft. Let's see. Go aft. You clamber across the ladder. Captain's quarters. This looks like an all-purpose living area. Sleeping pod six next to a nightstand. A ladder leads to the fore. An oriental rug lies in the center of the aft wall. What next? Shit on rug. <laughs> <laughs> um, sleep on rug. It's not a place you can go. Um... Go for. Back into the command module. Porthole. Damn it. Um. Look out. Porthole. Look. Um. Go porthole. Also, maybe try. Uh, maybe try help. It did say there's a whole bunch of commands there. Ah, here we go. Examine, inventory, get wrench, turn knob, push button, enter phone booth, climb stairs, open box, read pamphlet, porch, <laughs> juice into glass, put plate on placemat. Okay, let's try, let's look again. What do we got? Um, As with all adventure games, you probably just want to start with look, yeah. Through the porthole, you can see a background of stars shifting as the ship gently spins. The constellations are all unfamiliar to you. X constellations. Nope. Um. X glowing display. Display. A glowing green display shows a map of the galaxy with a destination you don't recognize marked in an ETA of about 3,000 years. Push root details. Ship spins forth a slew of steps such as spiral spinward at Spathy system, far faster than you can fathom. Push new destination. Nope. Nav computer dumps you into an interface so obtruse that 
abstruse that before you even consciously process what's happening, you've hit the back button and are at the main map again. Damn it. Look. X control deck. An array of switches and a pair of joysticks. Let's hope you never need to override the ship's autopilot, because there definitely are not frog joysticks. X rug sits in the center of the room, looking at it more closely. Doesn't quite lay flat on the floor. There's a significant dip around the middle. X dip middle push dip push middle. You probably want to lift the rug. Lift rug. Thank you. <laughs> I went up by two fifths of a point. X hatch. Turn wheel. Hatch. Go hatch. Hey, engine room. Nearly every surface in this room is covered with a sticky pink goop, which seems to be thicker near a gray machine sitting in the corner. A nest of wires. There's a hatch leading back to the cabin's quarters to the floor. Door roughly hewn into the aft wall leads to a kitchen. Don't know why you're so sure, but that door just can't have been there yesterday. X scoop. Okay, X gray machine. Spigot aimed at a flat platform. A handwritten sheet of paper has been hastily taped over the base of the platform. X paper. What? Um, oh, does it say to refer to the instruction manual? Yeah, included in your game package. Okay, uh, take, yeah, no, it's, yeah, uh, take paper. Okay. Fluttering piece of electrical tape behind, revealing a control panel. Next control panel. Also take electrical tape. <laughs> oh, okay. Taken. <laughs> what next? All right, so uh, control panel is rendered unusable by the sticky pink goop. You see a row that look like radio preset buttons, all but two of which are stuck. Pull lever. Okay. Bacon milkshake. Hmm. Well, maybe try the maybe try the other button. Push. Clicks into place, and previously selected button pops up. Local currency, says a robotic voice. Pull lever. The voice says, a thick stream of Zork mids. Hey! Get Zork mids. Uh. Alright, look. Get goop. Yeah, you need something to hold the goop in. Gotcha. Go kitchen. Kitchen. Door. Go door. Oh, you gotta go. Oh. You gotta go aft. Go aft. Okay. Bread machine sits in a place of prominence in the center of the room. Shelves of ingredients cover the walls. A rough-hewn door leads four back to the engine room. X bread machine. Place ingredients and two buttons labeled start and reset. Push reset. Recipe reset. Okay. Start. Damn it. Alright, um, maybe also look around.
okay. Um, fuck you. Is there... <laughs> Uh, go back to the engine room. Is there anything? I think there's something beyond the beyond the uh, the living quarters um, that isn't the hatch. Um. Okay. Um. Nope. Uh, oh, there's a sleeping pod. X sleeping pod. All right. Yeah. Okay. Um, Do I have to put the goop in the pod? Yeah, you have to find a bucket to put the goop in. Okay. Four. Aft. I guess I could go to the kitchen? Yeah, check what's in the kitchen. Um, also, check your inventory. Just I. Out of order note, electrical tape and the Zork mids. How do I go back through the hatch? I forget. Uh, go aft, I think. Okay. Okay, back to the engine room. Uh, I think there's a. I think there's also some a hole in the wall that you can take things from. In the engine room. I might be wrong about that. X hole. Hey, empty coffee can. Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. Um, and then also, uh, use uh, use the electrical tape. Uh. There we go. And then you have to put uh, uh, put the coffee can under the gray machine and change it to uh, hit the button. Uh, gray machine. And you have to pull, yeah, pull the lever to dispense mom's specialty. Nice. Take coffee can. Okay. Uh, go back to the, go back up the hatch. Yep. Um, next. I'm certain this is thrilling commentary for anyone who's watching. Yes, absolutely. I don't know what else, uh, what all there is to say about a text adventure game, though. Good. Coffee can in pod. Nice. There we go. Then enter pod. Uh, okay. Damn it. Go pod, I guess. I don't know. Oh, wait. Uh, examine the pod, I guess. Okay. Aft. X pod. Hold on top next to a gauge reading full. Uh, they're. Let's see. I thought there were some buttons. Hey. There we go. All right. Now maybe you can answer the pod. I think that's all the things you have to do. Um, I'm pretty sure I gotta reprogram the. I gotta set a route back to Bug Mars. Now. Okay. Okay, going back to Bug Mars. Fifty-seven and three-fifths years. Oh, fractions. Captain's quarters. Go pod. Lie down the sleeping pod. Close the lid and drift off. Screw that in 57 and something years. Turn to bark mo Bug Mars, a wealthy frog. Well. What? What? 
What? Oh. Yeah, you're a your person. How do I... How do I do... What the fuck? <laughs> what the shit? It's my favorite part of the game. Well, all the parts. Yeah, 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 yeah. What say you to allegations that you are not a natural born citizen, that you're under 35, and that you're a frog? No. No. Oh, Christ. Yeah. Oh, Christ. oh no, I'm terrible at these fucking games. Jesus fucking Christ, what the shit? Okay, I literally can't. Oh my god. It gets faster, I think, too. I, I believe it. I was actually really good at DDR for a while. I'm so, I am so terrible at DDR. My DDR experience mostly involves flailing. <laughs> what the hell kind of DDR are you playing? I was playing DDR. I was just playing it badly. Damn it. Damn it. I'm just mashing arrow keys now. I can't even tell if there's actual proper timing to this. I don't even know. If you couldn't tell from by the fact that your bar has emptied this kind of this part's kind of pointless. Yeah, exactly. And that it won't fill up no matter what. Well, it also won't empty. For president. Excellent. That's how all presidential elections should be determined. That's true. Is that it? Is that frog fractions? Uh, not, not, not yet. There's still more frog wait, fractions. Wait, wait, is this the West Wing intro? Yeah, it is. This, this, that motherfucker! the final stage of the game. Oh my god. Bug assets. 2 million Zork mids cost to produce bug porn. 10,000 Zork mids per megabyte. How many megabytes of bug porn do you wish to make? 2,000. Also sometimes the flag flashes up. <laughs> yeah. 20 million. 10. <laughs> 5. It's not you. It's my inability to distinguish you from prey. Ah, uh, you lost some money. Oh, I did. Do you want to order the feg Bug Federal Reserve to print? 2000. Yes. What upgrade am I going to install? I've got all the upgrades. No thanks. Bug weather, hot and dry. Hot and dry. Bug assets. 10,000... Zork mints per megabyte. <laughs> Damn it. You could do 1,000. So it's cost 10,000 to produce it. I know. I'm... So you're still losing money because it costs ten thousand, but you're only charging twenty five hundred. Okay. 
They could just make the Federal Reserve print a whole shitload. <laughs> Damn it. I don't want to have to think. Bug weather, sunny. Frog STDs and bug porn actors. Alright. Cost to produce 12,000. Absorb minutes per megabyte. Anyway, so, 1,000. Damn it! Impressive wingspan. <laughs> Everyone wants to see... Yeah, you made a bit. Nice. He's got to type a whole bunch of zeros. <laughs> what upgrade am I installing? Bug drugs. Oh no, thunderstorms. Relax. Just be yourself. <laughs> the warehouse burned down. The, yeah, the porn was too hot. <laughs> Meteorology satellites. Get more precise weather forecasts. Hell yeah. Damn it. Oh. All the Zork mids. Um, what do you have to have to buy the other ones? I don't know, I didn't even look. I don't know, yeah, check the check the upgrades, see what you need to have. Okay. Upgrades are kind of important to this. Fair enough. It's not you. It's my inability to distinguish you from prey. <laughs> Damn it. Hey, there we go. Yeah, the sensors bought all your porn. You made yeah. a fuck ton. Yeah. Keep running, Zark mids. Never stop. Oh, uh, okay, I see. I thought it was actually locked. Nice. Oh, right, I forgot that you can buy fucking padlocks. Yeah. Also, this is the opening to the Rite of Spring. Yeah. I prefer something more... Bug Klezmer today. I'll take it. More Zork meds. All the Zork meds. Yes, it's presidential swimming pool. <laughs> No, never back to work. Turtle friend forever. Oh God. And that was Frog Fractions. That was Frog Fractions. With the ending music from the Matrix. <laughs> yeah. Woo! 
So Matt, what did we learn here today? Uh, how to market bug pornography. Yeah. Also, we, we flew a rocket ship. Yeah, we did. I was almost so, going to yeah. make this two parts, but it's just barely the right length. Excellent. Alright, well, that was Frog Fractions, and... Oh, yeah, look at those hot-ass bugs. Oh! Shit, yes! Oh, God, yeah. Doc Busto's Daniel Ching. I love if they had actual playtesters. <laughs> There's so many playtesters! I guess it doesn't take a lot to have someone play your game. Fair enough. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh man, shit's getting crazy! Yeah! Woo! Alright, well, that's probably it. So I guess good night internet. That was bug fractions. Frog fractions. Frog fractions. Yeah. Bug porn. Porn fractions. Bug frog porn. Bug frog porn fractions porn. Woo! -wee! Woo! Good night internet. Good night internet.